Hi, this is Mike from Mentrotech Systems. Uh, we're back at the plant now, and unfortunately Dan wasn't able to make it. He had other obligations, and uh, we're going to share this video with him. The uh, fuel filter Dan was using was your typical spin-on filter water separator that you find in most applications. But what we have done at Entrotech is we've incorporated a water sensor inside the spin-on filter because we've been making the sensors for 35 years and we found that in a gasoline marine environment, even a diesel marine environment, there are certain codes, there's UL standards, there's Coast Guard standards, there's ABY st standards, there's a fire test. All these things must be met to have some kind of sensing technology because the typical way of doing it is a water sensor in the bottom of a filter can. Well, what we've done with Autosig is we've incorporated the water sensor inside the spin-on filter so there are no external probes. The water sensor is basically a metal rod that protrudes through the base of the filter into the water collection side or dirty side as it's called. When water is removed from the filter medium, it drips to the bottom, it accumulates up until it touches this probe. When the water makes that connection, it sends a signal up through the rod and into the head of the filter. That's a little bit of the magic of auto saying the head of the filter is we have what's called a touch plug, which makes a con you know, electrical connection and it's spring loaded to compensate for variations in manufacturing the filters. So that sends a signal into the filter head where in this case, there's an electronic package it's your whole water sensor and everything to turn on an indicator light. Now the indicator light is not on right now because this power supply is simulating the battery. But to show you how it works, we'll spin that on. And this, we have what's called a power up lamp test. When you first turn on the ignition switch, you're gonna get a circuit test as well as a lamp check. Now, if AutoSig senses water any time when you're using it, the lamp will come on after a short delay. And the short delay is there because you have sloshing of water in the bottom of this filter when the boat's in operation, and we don't want it to come on. So there's another way that AutoSig senses water, and, well, it's, a, it's another test. It's a self-test. If you do not have the proper filter in place, the light's going to come on because the touch plug is shorted out onto the ground. Well, this is very similar to the probe sensing water to the can itself. So basic principles, function of autosig, how it works. There are three can sizes available. There's a small can for most gasoline inboard applications. Medium sized can has uh, a little more filtering capacity, more dirt holding, and a larger can that we sell for both gasoline, well, primarily diesel. We don't sell it for gasoline because it has a drain. Even though this has been through the flame test and it's all functional, we prefer to just have this. You don't need this for gasoline, it's too big. These would be for diesel applications, and there's an available UL listed drain, so it'd be easy to drain the water out of a diesel system. So that's our, Auto SIG product line and we'll cover more more functions and attributes and other forward future videos.